two inches of snow, but it, it, uh, there's definitely snow on the ground. Anyway, this week, let's see. I haven't been to the gym a couple, a couple times. Um, I've been doing a lot of holiday eating, especially at work. Mm. Holiday food is so good. I called up to the YMCA, and they have personal trainers that you can hire. And at my work, you actually get uh, money toward fitness. Uh, so what I did was I hired a, uh, a personal trainer. Now, I don't start until January 5th, but I'm going to be going twice a week, every Monday and Wednesday morning at 5.30 in the morning. Woo! But that's the best times for me because if I can get it over with and get it done in the morning, then I won't have any excuses at, at night. So anyway, so I'm excited about that. Um, I hope your holidays are awesome. This is kind of a short video. just want to give you my weigh-in and then a quick update on uh, exercising and was really excited about starting my uh, personal trainer. I will share with you, obviously, you guys, my experience with the personal trainer. Um, and then, of course, the recipe is lemon and dill chicken, and you'll see that here in a second. And it was it was really good. Um, I'm really enjoying this uh, recipe stuff. And uh, just now trying to figure out what I'm going to cook this week to show you guys. So anyway, enjoy the recipe. All right, tonight we're having lemon and dill chicken with uh, steamed broccoli on the side. You want to take about one and a quarter pound of boneless chicken. And looking back, I probably should have cut this chicken a little bit more. Some of the pieces were kind of thick. You want to season the chicken breast on both sides with salt and pepper. And also, I think I put a little too much pepper. And then we want to take the olive oil and pour it into the skillet. We're going to sear them on each side. So what I did was I let it cook for about three minutes on each side. Then you take the chicken out, put it on a plate, and then you use aluminum foil to tent it. I don't know if I did this correctly. I, I was assuming that the aluminum foil was to help keep the heat in, so I just kind of covered it up like that. Turn your temperature down to about medium-low. Put in some more olive oil. Then you put your onions in. And then three teaspoons of minced garlic. Okay, then for the sauce, you're going to mix together chicken broth, flour, chopped dill, and lemon juice. And it actually looks kind of weird. It looks like a weird herbal drink. So after you got that nice and whisked together, you're going to pour that into the skillet. Kind of mix it around, whisk it around. Then you want to turn your temperature down to low. And then I want to put your chicken back in there and let the uh, let it cook in the sauce. You want to cook it about four or five minutes on each side, uh, making sure the chicken's done. I had I used uh, bagged steamed broccoli. It actually turned out pretty good. When it's all done, you take your chicken out, put it on your plate with your broccoli. Um, I took all the rest of the chicken out before I put it on the plates. My daughter had some with me. Then you take the sauce and you pour a little bit on the chicken and maybe on the broccoli if you'd like. And then you have your lemon and dill chicken. It looks a little weird, but it actually tasted really good. And at about 300 calories, you can't beat that. Thanks for watching this recipe and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. See you later.